Well, I think a lot of the source of it is uh, as a child, uh, between the ages of like 10 and 13 or 14, we traveled around a lot, uh, and like between 47 and uh, 50, something, 51. And uh, at that time, the, the, the country, we went through the South, the Midwest, and didn't get in the um, much in the East or the New England states, but most of the rest of the country. And so passing in and out of different um, states and towns, things, there, there was a lot, there was a much greater variety. It wasn't quite so homogenized. And I was, con we were in and out of cafes and stuff, and so I was continually running into those sayings that are, you know, pinned up everywhere in bathrooms and so on and so forth. But I was also, uh, at that point as a child, um, very interested in art and doing a lot of drawing and actually being bored because we did this three summers in a row, my dad looking for different kinds of work, going out of my mind in the back of the car, um, drawing and, and you know, uh, I wasn't writing so much then, but I was reading quite a bit and uh, learning to play the harmonica and messing around. So. Um, I think that's initial source for it on one level, and then I think also uh, illustrations uh, being read to as a child, um, and text and picture. Uh, so I think subliminally those are early stimulants for establishing that. And I used to, as a child, uh, lay on the floor, listen to the radio, and um, and draw, and sometimes draw what I was hearing. And, uh, and I'm still doing it. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.